so devices audio all audio chat okay so today I am pretty much copying Mike Clevenger because he's one of my favorite pitchers in the MLB so him and Trevor Bauer so yeah um, where's he from though I don't know that mm, let's see Jacksonville Tennessee oh Florida okay Not past it yet. Starting pitcher. I'm gonna give him a four seam slider, and I want to give him a knuckle. I also want to give him yeah, I'll give him a knuckle curve. Oh frick! Chase. Clevender Jersey number I don't remember his number Huh Let me check it He's 6'4 Jesus Number fifty two. Fifty two. Right handed, um, hit righty, even though I probably won't hit. And I want to give him velocity. Maybe get one. Do you know what? Um, after you're done, can you show me the moment of the video? Yeah. Six four two fifteen. Two fifteen. Motions. Current players. Where? No. Is Mike Clevenger not in here? I just use Trevor Bowers. Cause they're on the same team, so. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll just have to fix that in the game. Cool. Just days before the 40-round MLB draft, some lesser-known prospects get one last chance to make an impression. Okay. 
Slider. Shut up, cat. Jesus. Need to get. I want a curveball, but. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Wants me to paint the corners. Slider. There we go. Oh my god, I keep accidentally doing it too early. Jesus. Oh, okay, well, I hit that time. There did not cool. Continue. Dope. Everyone has a personality. Even a banana flew around my room before you had to respond to their teammates and their coaches. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the West region and the prospects representing the East. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't talk. I'm kind of awkward, so, yeah. Number 52, a right-hander from Florida gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Coming to the plate now, Gerald Bond. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Come on, fellas, let's go. With her knuckle curve. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit out towards second. And the day begins with an out. There's one away. My sound's working good. And the day begins with an out. There's one away. At the plate, Jose Gonzalez. You gotta talk louder. So okay, that's opportunity in this one. good to know. Four seam upstairs. Ah, that's too well high. above the letters with the fastball that time. Okay. Gonzalez is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus Ooh. runner and really uses his speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works inside. for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has a potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield. Do I get to hit? Please don't make it to hit. To I want to hit. Their toes and have to make plays against this guy. Might stream some Diamond Dynasty later too. With the play, Chris Abreu. Just because I have nothing else better to do. Side right here. More of a comfortable right. side from the left right. side. Puts the ball in play. More of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up being a natural left-handed hitter. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike. 
Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two is a wave there and a miss. He struck him out. I guess that works. So a fairly painless top of the Just tell me what you guys want me to stream and all that and I'll do it. Now it's Thanks. a play. Aaron Makepeace you know, to to so. take his first cuts here. And he pops him up. Drifting so toward the left side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Nine pitches, I've had four outs, so that's pretty good. Digging in, Alonzo Diaz. First pitch on its way. In there for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well, and I'm a big believer chase, in body uh, language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick. Catch that. Keeping the ball down in the zone. You so and if you take a look at this attack. guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. Kind of worked for like a minute there. He brought us good stuff in this one. Tell me guys if you want me to do a setup video too, because why not? First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a swing I'll and a fly one. ball. Long run for the right fielder, but this will land untouched. I have a decent setup, I mean, for the age that I am. So. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, blue, come on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end. Also, the I'm gonna inning. do some franchise moves. Kind half of, of the inning, all told. Because stepping in, so. Bernardo Rodriguez. Fouled game. away. Bernardo Rodriguez. The wind up and the 0 1. Waved Ooh, at and missed, and he's behind nice 0 2. And a good bite to that Two slider as he outs. swings through it for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Pablo Enriquez. The catcher. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And it's fouled away. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Slow roller down the third baseline. Okay, but a off. foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Now here it comes. And he struck him out hey, as I still well. Gone. So okay. the bottom of the order providing I guess that works. Here, and there are two away. Next will be the designated hitter, Todd Hightower. As Ooh, the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Strike one to start the at-bat. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Two balls and a strike to count. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Full Earth count now, three and two. Count. Struck Ooh. him out, so he makes quick work wow. of him here. Three That's straight three shutout innings. Pretty proud of myself. Frank Mendoza takes the mound as he's been called. Oh, they're taking me pitch. out. What? Pitched three amazing innings. No runs given up. No hits even given up. Take me out. And of course, he gets a pat on the back. Seven is how it finishes today. The East prospects led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Frank. Mendoza is credited with the win. Steve Barnett worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.
Okay, so that's a W for me. Bro, what did he have to save? That dude. Oh my god, that dude really gave up two hits. Or a hit. Alright, three strikeouts. Four strikeouts, three innings pitched, no hits, no nothing. <laughs> Probably just gonna stream or sim till I get into um triple A, then I'll start playing. MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. Start me, bruh. Johnny Mesa, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. Seen, what do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul okay. ball as the count is steady at one and two. Now the pitch. Grounded weakly down the line toward third, but this is foul. Another oh my one god, this dude foul. hits literally everything. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounder down the line at third. Foul. We'll go fastball up and in. The one two. Had him fooled there Holy as this crap, is lifted probably. in the air out to left center and shallow. Nunez comes on and makes the catch in shallow left. Maybe you guys just want me to do like a different position too, because. I will. So stepping in, Horatio Heron, <laughs> as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Horatio uh, Pitch on the way. Who? Oh, and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, I didn't mean to go fastball down there. Okay, that's in there. there, and he's deep in the hole now. 0 and 2. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. And the slider Ooh. gets him swinging. Two gone. Sit down, boy. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes. Sit your backside down. Scouts just love a guy that's willing to go right after a hitter, and that's exactly what he did there. I see a lot of scouts in the stands nodding their heads, liking what they see, and I don't blame them. The designated hitter. Striding forward now is the DH, Teddy Anderson. He'll swing it from the left side right here. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Ah. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. 3-0. How did that miss? Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Rip down the first base line. A dive, but it's off his glove. Oh. And by the time he recovers, they'll have no Dang play it. on him at first. It's an infield single. 
Standing in now, Eddie Ibarra, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Anderson, the runner at first. Now a throw over. Don't want to forget about him. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball one. One and one. Here we go, guys. Throw over to the bag, and he's back in standing. A runner on first with two away. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Man, I'm interested to see this next pitch. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Digging in now, Lorenzo Campillo, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Lorenzo Campillo. First offering on its way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. <sighs> Nearly a big fly to start the okay. inning Let's instead of foul ball. Down here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing oh, and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Lorenzo Campillo is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. In now, Colin Cole. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The third baseman, Colin Cole. So I'm trying to text people back. Weak roller right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Digging in. Trey Mooney. The center fielder. Trey Mooney. And we got two out. Here's the first pitch to him. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. I stream some uncharted later. No score. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the oh, offense man, better out. step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. Leading off the inning, Joseph McKinney, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Joseph McKinney. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh and one here it comes after two great pitches he has a lot of options right now he could bounce something or go elevated fastball nope. tried to get him to go after one below the knees but it's one and two just a bit low tough call but it's two and two hey expect a challenge right here does not want to run the count full the two two is swung on and missed strike three. This is what we call a challenge fastball. Scouts love to see a guy with enough confidence and arm strength to just reach back and fire a heater past the hitter. No analytics or data is as important as some old school mano o mano. The scouts will eat that one up. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Again, another foul ball. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. 
first things first, here's a throw over. And the runner back easily. Stepping in now, Enrique Ramirez. 0-1 the count. Fly nice down pitching fastball down the middle. So make him 0-1 so far. He's set, here's the 0-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. Settling in now, Horatio Heron. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Fouled off. Two out with the man at first. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Strike three Ooh, called, that knuckle the inning is gets over. Literally anybody. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Frank Mendoza will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Oh. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The East led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Frank Mendoza takes home the win. Johnny Mesa couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. For the home team, one run, eight hit, no error. They left 14 men on uh, What? We'll have two wins before. Two hours. Then you pitch two hits, six strikes. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check in from his former high school coach who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Ooh, I hope it's the Indians. With the 13th pick, oh, the San Francisco it's the Giants. Giants select the starting pitcher from the East region. Oh, it's the Giants. Okay. After a hmm. long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. No, I don't. Selected is a major milestone. New drafts still face long odds of ever making it to the big leagues. Okay. Well. I'll see you guys next time I play this. Maybe in a little bit. But see you all next time.